So today I wanted to talk to you guys about Evil Dead Rise, the new horror movie that just came out. So I went and saw it the week that it came out, actually the night that it came out. And the, the movie theater was pretty packed. I think a lot of people were pretty excited for this movie. And I would say it was decent. <laughs> I would say that it meets expectations, but doesn't go further than that. This is a very typical horror movie. It definitely plays into a lot of the tropes of horror movies. And I will say that the special effects in this movie are pretty fucking amazing. Like, there, there's some end game level special effects happening. Like, I guess not to that extent, but they were pretty good. Like who, whoever did those special effects is like in their room right now, you know, pissing themselves about how great this was. But yeah, I would say that this movie is definitely one that I would check out. One thing about this movie is that it is very gory. I don't think I've ever seen a movie with as much blood, guts, and gore as this movie was. And it definitely plays into it the entire time. Like once once the shit hits the fan, it just keeps on turning those turbines full throttle the whole time. And it even goes above and beyond that. They just keep throwing more paper into the fire like a bonfire. It's crazy, like, there might be spoilers in here, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to get too into it uh, before saying that, but there might be some spoilers in here, so if you're not into, into spoilers, then click off now. But this movie was definitely a, uh, a very gruesome movie, I would say. Not, not a lot of horror movies that I've seen, at least recently or like lately, I guess, are like super gory, you know? They're all about like paranormal stuff and this plays into it as well. It, uh, it's all about being possessed by a demon, if you didn't know. A lot of them I see, it, it's, uh, you know, the, the evil thing comes in pretty early on, but you don't really see the full picture it's more like pictionary i should say it's a very good movie in the aspect that it just gets right to the point it's not very like it doesn't beat around the bush very much and so i i really enjoyed that because uh towards the beginning the woman gets possessed very early on after uh the son discovers like this cursed book about this priest and he uh, plays this record that the priest had and the priest ended up summoning a demon to their house basically after <laughs> after that happens the mom gets possessed and then she like goes all haywire but there are some pretty creative scenes i would say and not a whole lot of different actual scenes that they built there weren't very many ones it, was, it took place in an apartment building in like one hallway that was pretty much it there was only a few rooms that occupied this entire movie and there was like a teaser scene at the beginning that was pretty badass uh it it had this girl who was possessed by the demon you know she basically scalped her cousin at the beginning, which like immediately once I saw that, I was like, oh God, like <laughs> good thing I didn't eat anything before this movie because like I, I would feel kind of sick because the, the special effects and the makeup and the sound design were all really done flawlessly. Definitely a lot better than a lot of other films that I've seen recently, like Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, <laughs> the, the special effects were definitely something that I would rave about because it was just so flawlessly done with the gore and, you know, the acting, how they portray the characters. At one point, uh, this girl is like, she, she's squatted up on the counter, she's possessed, and she starts eating 
this wine glass and it does like a close up of her neck and like the glass is just gliding through her throat and like slicing through it like knife through butter it's just oh i i saw that i had to turn away like i was a you know a little kid watching the a team for the first time it was just oh man i could not watch that scene but a lot of other scenes were definitely pretty gross but i could sit through them that one just took the cake it was amazing but there there definitely are some twists in the story i i'm not gonna spoil those but it, it's definitely not what you would expect at least when i was watching it and they were explaining the plot of the movie and it this happens pretty early on but they find this book like i said earlier that has all these demonic things in it it's very weird like <laughs> i i don't know what a priest was doing with that demonic of a book i don't know if he wrote it thinking he was some cool artist like dr seuss but yeah it was definitely a lot of twists and turns throughout the whole thing uh another thing is that the shots were set up pretty well there's one scene where this the the mom is locked outside the the apartment and uh they're like looking through the the little peephole you know like apartments and doors will have like a little peephole so you can see and so they use like a fisheye effect to show her and uh, she did a phenomenal job acting that that was amazing and it was definitely very creepy I <laughs> felt very uneasy watching this uh, this whole scene transpire but yeah I, I just wanted to give my kind of review of it because I thought it was a very well done movie but there are definitely a lot of plot holes I guess I'll spoil a little bit here at some point in the movie, they're trying to find a cure, but can't. And this, uh, I guess this is a pretty major <laughs> spoiler, but they read more into this guy's recordings and he says there's no cure for this demonic possession. That was very uh, weird to me. I didn't really buy into it once he said that because this guy, priest guy lived at least a hundred years before they did but there's no evidence of the demonic possession before then so like he said he tried everything he could to get rid of this uh possession but couldn't and that was a very big plot hole for me <laughs> i because if if there's no cure and it goes between people then you'd hear about it but there was definitely no mention of it prior to this kid finding the book. So he said there was no cure, but there was no evidence of that. I don't know. It, it was definitely a, a bigger plot hole for me. Anyways, I would uh, definitely recommend go seeing this. Maybe not in theater. Uh, wait a little bit. I, I see, I've seen <laughs> a bunch of other places um looks like ign gave it a 9 out of 10 which you always have to watch ign <laughs> with their ratings uh take it with a pinch of salt also take mine with a pinch of salt i think that they relied heavily on blood gore and special effects to get them through the movie and not so much the plot which is fine that's most horror movies is the special effects and the tension is most of the movie and the plot's just like it, it kind of takes a back seat you know it's it's in the uh it's in the trunk just kind of waiting for the end of the movie and then he comes up and starts driving i'm gonna give this one an 80 percent because it's definitely a good movie like a good horror movie it has lots of gore like anything you need is probably more gore than like an actual crime scene like if that happened in real life there'd probably be a third of the gore because i i don't know what these people's bodies were holding but it was 
more than just blood and gore, so <laughs> they definitely filled him up with bloody water balloons or something, stuffed him inside, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to go over that. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.